Monday, everyone. Radar is picking up just within the past couple hours, scattered showers and some heavy downpours for some of our areas. So we're going to take a little tour right now. This is currently where we can see scattered showers around the Santa Cruz Mountains, zooming all the way down to the coast where you can see it approaching of the central coast. We can see some scattered showers as well as some red and yellow indicating some heavy rain at for some of our areas all the way down to the Big Sur Santa Lucia mountain range where you could see light to moderate rain for some of the areas and other areas are showing some pockets of yellow. So that is indicating some areas are and seeing some heavy downpours right now, and we'll continue to see that later on throughout the day today. Taking a look right now at Nepenthe Restaurant out in Big Sur, we were seeing the wind, the tree moving quite a bit just earlier as well as the camera, but we are still seeing breezy conditions and that wind advisory is still going to be in place until tomorrow morning. That's going to be affecting the entire central coast. And the main concerns with the wind advisory is with us being saturated already, we could be seeing some some more trees down, some power lines down, as well as some more power outages. So prepare for that just in case that does happen for you today because wind speeds right now are looking pretty breezy across the central coast where our valleys are seeing around 18 down to 23 mile per hour wind speeds down to King City. The coast earlier we did see around 30 mile per hour winds. San Francisco is at 33 all the way down to 25 in Santa Cruz. We did see with a max wind gust just within the past 24 hours, some of our Santa Cruz mountain range areas, we did see some of them looking at 50 to 60 max wind gusts just within the past 24 hours. San Francisco is currently right now at over 50, all the way down to Salinas, down to Big Sur, looking at over 40. So pretty breezy conditions. Temperatures right now pretty seasonably seasonable in the low 60s to mid 60s for some of our areas 58 out in Santa Cruz looking to be one of our cooler spots on the map. We are still under a flood watch and this is going to be through Wednesday morning because again we're still expecting to see some more scattered showers all depending on this system. So the main reason for this is because we're already saturated and we could potentially be adding more onto that. So we're going to take a look at our forecasted rain so we could see how we're going to see scattered showers heavy at times heading into tonight. We could see scattered showers. This model is showing scattered showers around the region. We could be seeing scattered showers again with heavy downpours later on tonight. One thing with this model is it's one of our models we use. Another model is showing different compared to the forecast that this is showing. This forecast is showing around tomorrow morning, the morning commute looking to be um, some people could be experiencing heavy downpours, especially around the Santa Cruz Mountains. And this model is showing around the afternoon time into the evening time looking to be widespread rain as well as heavy downpours for some of our region, whereas other models are indicating scattered showers. So that's one difference with this model compared to some of our other models. So this all depends on how that system lingers over the ocean and how that will impact us, bringing us some more rain chances throughout the day tomorrow. Today, impact day, looking in the upper 50s to mid 60s, sun and clouds, periods of rain, as well as gusty winds, and you could even be experiencing some hail. Looking at your eight days, we'll continue to track rain chances heading into the week as well as the weekend. There is a slight chance temperature is looking to be seasonable in the 50s to 60s overnight lows, 40s, 50s, and again, impacts for the next couple of nights for some rain moving through. We'll be right back after the break. Stay with us.